You were getting the 4410. Just. Oh, there you are. Are you not talking? You just give me quiet the whole fucking time? Are you not, man? EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Just as we were getting ready for air, both team, teams coming out of their game. locker rooms, out of because the tunnel, and this crowd bad. is pumped up as their Redskins get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. It's no longer a party chat. It's the game audio. She just isn't talking into the mic. But don't worry, it's being recorded on YouTube. Again, until it quits. Dustin Hopkins has it on the tee, and here we go from our nation's capital. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. <clears throat> You're a giant fucking pussy. Get in the chat. Go ahead and talk. Or hide behind the keyboard. I don't give a fuck. Yellow! Play action, it's Mahomes escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out, and the Redskins scoop it. All right, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play, but prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage, but in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. 
Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 20 yards. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. First and 10 at the 19. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown from 17 yards out as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. First down, it's Haskins. And yeah, that is incomplete. He could. Through the contact, brings up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Second and ten. Here's Haskins again. This one completes to Calvin Harmon. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Haskins looking to throw on first down. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Jordan Reed, 54 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 25 yards that time. From the gun, it's Mahomes. 
Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the really off corner, good. Josh Norman. He was best looking fucking for Watkins that time. In fucking game. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really yeah, confident throw good. either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And the drive starts with a completion left side. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Again on second and 10, it's Haskins. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. First and ten, it's Haskins. And that is caught by the tight end, Reed. Touchdown, Washington. You're fucking garbage. Jordan Reed with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Redskins have taken the lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 14-7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now he'll pull it down. <laughs> and he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Mahomes. Flushed out right. He finds McCoy. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. Let's go. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes steps away to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Montez Sweat just creating a disaster there for the offense as that one goes 16 yards in the wrong direction. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And an alley to run. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. They go play fake. Mahomes rolling to his right. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Redskins. This is why you're it's fucking terrible at Madden. And there he goes. You're trying to play like it's in fucking NFL Blitz. He gets it back into the end zone. It's a crash fucking leading ball. to a Washington touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. <laughs> he's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? 
pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, but the bottom, offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. Nowhere to go here. He oh, lost the ball. What happened? What happened? On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Mahomes now to throw. This for his running back, McCoy. And he'll get this up to the four right about there, and that's about it. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Buying time to his left. And they're going to sack oh, him again. Another the one? time they've gotten him today, and oh, this no. one results in a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. <laughs> Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Got a fucking defense in this. Here's Geis. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. On second and seven, Haskins. Oh, damn. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. They've got a pretty comfortable lead right now, but maybe a little too careless with a football that time for the rookie. I think the key word there is comfortable. And there's two schools of thought on it. With that type of a lead, maybe you can take a few more chances because you have a cushion. Others will tell you, don't eat up the cushion with careless play. He'll learn to ride that line as he moves on in his career. Being chased out left. In for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys are able to pull a bit closer.
Butker on for the PAT. He's got it, and it's now 23-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. Coming to you, coming to you. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Haskins. Catch is made. It's Harmon. There he goes on the side. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Kelvin Harmon, 82 yards. Able to stretch the lead out further. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. with the extra point and that could be important as that makes this a 16 point lead The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. Well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he will score. Touchdown, Washington. Probably what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. I'm going to for you to start playing. The Chiefs offense are not set to begin this drive. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talked about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount, here's his opportunity. Oh, it comes back to those defensive backs for the formal deep, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> 22 yards there, a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Forced out to his left. He'll run it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes now on the run. He'll throw. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 44 yards. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead's down to two scores now at 16. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Terry McLaurin, 77 yards. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Yeah. 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Dance into his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Mahomes now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Now here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And going deep for Hill. He's got it. Hit the 15. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. Mahomes fighting Hill for a big play. 46 yards. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain, followed by a sizable loss here. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Steps away. And that will be caught. But out of bounds. Out of bounds. Ruled incomplete here. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And it'll bring up third down. Mahomes going to throw. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. Butker on for the PAT. Uh -oh. And the lead's down to two scores now at 16. Makes the score Redskins 44, Chiefs 48. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now, we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Give the Redskins 13 there and a first down. They'll run with Geis. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. From the 36, Haskins. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. There he goes, right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. Oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. You got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead cut down to nine. Makes the score. Redskins 44. Chiefs 35. Harrison Butker. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they gave up the pick six, and now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go-around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary in that last possession, now. Now Haskins on first down. That's complete to his receiver, McClellan. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. The Redskins have the first down on a pickup of 18. On first down, this is Geis. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. From the 44, Haskins. And this one complete to Reed. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. On first down, it's Haskins. That'll be caught right side by Reed. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Haskins and the offense with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Looking to throw, Haskins. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Kelvin Harmon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. Hopkins with the extra point. And that could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as they are able to cut into that lead. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead cut down to nine. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. 
Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Second and ten now, Haskins. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Third and long. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. It's fourth down. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Here we go on fourth down, Haskins. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. He's going to take off with it. Good yardage there on the scramble, and all of a sudden they're left with a third and two, much more manageable. Now the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Redskins in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. On first and ten, it's Haskins. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. On second down, it's Thompson, and no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Check, check, 53 is Mike. Watch the run. 53 is Mike. 53 is Mike. Third down, here's Haskins. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a first down, and he's also over 190 receiving yards now. What a game. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 34. Now Haskins to throw it. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And down to the 16-yard line. The Redskins have the first down on a pickup of 18. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. From the red zone now, Haskins on first down. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten. Here's Haskins again. He's got Thompson here. Complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Let's go. Let's go. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Haskins back to the air. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Jeremy Sprinkle there to make the grab. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Let's go, The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On the run, he'll let this go deeper. It's caught at the 10. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 54 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Kelsey out in the slot right. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes eluding the pressure right. 
And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They'll try to get this running game going with Geis. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and ten at the 20-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Hey, watch that, watch out. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. That's the run. On second down, here's Haskins. That'll be caught at Steven Sims. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Mike, 53, 53, Mike, Mike. Haskins on third down. And that will be incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Right there, 54, right there, right there. They'll indeed go for it with Haskins. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The D and Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. They go play fake. Mahomes. Buying time to his Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mahomes now to throw. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble. And now fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. He can run for it, and he will. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Redskins defense going to take over on the turnover on downs. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Chris Jones picks up his second sack of the afternoon. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Haskins to throw. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And they work this well up field across the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. 
The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Haskins looking to throw on first down. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. And it is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Chris Thompson, 29 yards. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. Makes the score, Redskins 64, Chiefs 45. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Being chased out left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Here's Mahomes to throw, escaping the pressure right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. To throw on second and ten. Mahomes flushed out right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And that takes us from second to third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. He's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside. And I think the ball's out. Into the Redskins, have it, they do. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic.
Back what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, that turnover might just about do it. Here, fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart, a couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Haskins. And this one completes a read. That one a first down pickup of eight. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot rack, so to speak. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. That one good for 26 and a first down. Now Haskins on first down. Oh. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 20. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammate that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Monte Nicholson picks it. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Haskins and the Redskins come up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. From the gun, it's Haskins. And this one's incomplete. Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Nice job by Juan Thornhill there to get a hand in and break up the play. The Redskins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. on third down flush to his right now he's going to go deep down the left side and that will be incomplete well they weren't scared to let it fly but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down and that's a crusher right there had his man open for a first down threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary incomplete pass one of these quarterbacks going to learn you don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football They're going on fourth down. Haskins. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. 
The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Haskins. He's got it complete to Thompson. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 11 at the Chiefs' 47-yard line. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Haskins going to throw again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The Redskins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Third down, here's Geis. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. And that'll set them back five. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Haskins. Looking long for his tight end read. And my goodness, another intercept. that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulder. And now again, the play clock's going to run out on him. That's going to set him back five yards. Successive penalties have him looking now at a first and 20. It's Mahomes. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. 